The one piece of advice I give to someone who's just starting out in the professional world is that if you don't believe in what you do, you're going to have a hard time doing it to your best ability. Passion is everything. Believe. Believe, believe, believe. Hi, my name is Lisa Stone. I'm the CEO and one of three co-founders of Blogger Inc. To say that my career did not have a plan is a drastic understatement. When people ask me why and how I've achieved success and what the one thing is that matters most, I have a sort of mixed response. Success is always a mixed bag. There's always a new frontier. There's always something that you want to beat or win or try. But I will tell you that two things are keeping me sane uh, as an entrepreneur. The first thing is family. I spend a ton of time with my kids and my better half. If you have a job that doesn't allow you to have a personal life, leave the job, okay? Uh, that's number one. And number two is exercise. It sounds really simple, but if you can't build walking three miles a day into your life, you need to figure out how to do it. You will be smarter, your mind will be more engaged. Times in my life where I really feel like I haven't been as good on the job as I could have been were when I just couldn't get regular exercise. Something that I think is really important to anyone's success is to remove toxic people from your life, and also not to be one. So if you are working with a group of colleagues or with a manager who are not supportive or are fundamentally negative or passive aggressive or blame stormers, you need to change that. You need to be the change you want to see in the world. Gandhi was right. As an entrepreneur, I'm asked a lot about risk taking. And I think what's interesting is the degree to which risks are both valuable and dangerous to different people. Only you can define what's risky to you. So I just urge you to examine what that means. Are you afraid of that risk because you may or may not be able to accomplish it? Or are you afraid of that risk because you're afraid you'll fail? If you're afraid that you'll fail and that's why you consider something risky, I urge you to do it. So my recommendation as someone who has failed an enormous amount is fail forward, fail up, fail faster, and actually find a group of people with whom you can sift through what's working and what's not working and uh, develop your own lessons.